Hey everybody, John C. here in sunny Southwest Florida, hanging out on the beach with my palm trees. Actually, you can probably tell it's pretty digital. It's a digital background. It's not really real. I'm not, well, picture may be real, but I'm not sitting on the beach. Wish I was. Let me go over this with you real quick. Every month, uh, I would like to cover what's happened over the last month in regards to sales, home prices, things of that nature in this area of Lee and Coya County. I'd like to break it down to both of those counties so you can see specifically, I want you to know the facts not just the feel of what's going on in the market. So let me share my screen here. I pulled this up earlier today and was looking through this. This is Lee Ann Collier County. As you can see here, the darker maroon looking line is Collier County and the uh, orange line is Lee County. Now this first one here shows you the uh, closed average home prices over the last, well, this goes all the way back to January of 2019, but I like to compare month to month. So here we are, this is August stats for Collier County. The average home price was $644,000. And if you look, that is an increase from August of 2019 of 41%. Now, that doesn't mean that home prices are worth that much more. It doesn't mean your home price went up 41%. Uh, percent. What it means is that the average home price that of homes that sold was that. So in other words, we're selling more higher end homes than what we have the previous year. Let's keep looking here. I want you to show you homes for sale. This is a really important number. This shows you the inventory. How many homes are on the market? Look at this. Back in February, Lee County had almost 13,000 homes for sale. What do they have now? 5,000. That's a huge decrease, huge decrease. Over the last 12 months, it's a 41% decrease. Now, why is this graph important? Because supply and demand. In any industry, when you have supply and demand, uh, when supply goes down, typically prices go up. Now, here's what I noticed. Prices are starting to go up and competition to purchase those homes is skyrocketing. Look at this. When I was watching some real estate conference videos a little while back, uh, about four months ago, in the middle of this uh, pandemic thing we went through, they were saying, we're gonna have a V-shaped curve. We're gonna go down, we're gonna slow down almost to a stop, and then we're gonna skyrocket back up. Now, instead of just calling this a V-shape, they're actually calling it a super V, because no one expected it to go quite this crazy, at least not anything that I saw, and that's what they're doing. Now, pending home sales, what does this mean? These are homes that have gone on the market. To me, this is a great thing to look at when you're thinking of selling your home, because you can see, is this a good time to sell because people are buying? This is a great thing to look at for the month of August and go, man, homes are continually to go pending really fast. Look at this. Compared to August of last year, we have 142% in Collier County increase in pending sales. So look at this. August of this year, 2,100 homes went pending. August of last year, uh, look at that. 868 homes went pending. That is crazy, crazy number, 868 to 21, almost, well, two and a half times an increase in homes going pending. Total sales, uh, again, it jumped up quite a bit, huge V shape for July, but here's also what I want you to notice. Starting to tail back off again. I think we're gonna level out here. Still gonna be busy, but I think we're gonna level out. Part of the reason I believe we're starting to slow down, we are really running out of inventory inventory is continuing to disappear. More homes are going off the market every day than are coming back on for both Lee and Collier County. Last one here, I just wanna show you the days on market. Look at this. If you are interested in buying a home, you are losing time to make an offer. So when people tell me they wanna sleep on it, I always encourage them by saying, I'm okay if you sleep on it, as long as when you wake up tomorrow morning, if you're okay with it being off the market and pending, you're not gonna lose any sleep the next night, then fine, sleep on it. But if you like the home and it's not gonna feel good when you wake up the next day and it's not on the market, you better put in an offer ASAP. Hope that helps. John C. here in sunny Southwest Florida. Thanks for watching this video. Feel free to share it with any friends or family. Call, text, or email me. If you have any questions about the real estate market here in sunny Southwest Florida, have a great day.